Welcome to Electrofan. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install MQTT broker on your Raspberry Pi and how you can test it locally in the Raspberry Pi as well as locally on your network. So let's get started. So in a lot of my previous video, I have gone through how you can, what is MQTT, how you can install that uh, broker on your local uh, laptop, how you can install a Windows app. And now we'll see how you can install the Mosquito Broker on your Raspberry Pi. So, so the initial uh, assumption is you have a Raspberry Pi, you have a, a memory card that has the uh, Debian booted into it. So that is where I'm starting from. I've powered my Raspberry Pi and it has connected to my network. I know the IP of my Raspberry Pi, which is this. So I will just log in with the standard uh, information. Now, this is what uh, I have. I have a bunch of steps that we will follow one by one. Uh, I'm going to have the steps uh, in the description of my this video. So let's get started. So first, what we have to do is we have to run sudo app update, which is this command. I'm going to paste it over here. This is a very standard command to update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi. It takes quite a while. I've already done it, so I won't be doing it. But you guys should make sure that your Raspberry Pi is updated and upgraded. Once that is done, I will click on this and install the broker. Okay, so now we have the Mosquito Broker installed. Now what we need to do is we need to enable the broker on auto start whenever we boot our Raspberry Pi so that we don't have to wait for it to boot up and then come open command prompt and then run it. So this is what I will do. It will basically enable the Mosquito service whenever it executes or boots my Raspberry Pi. And after that, just to make sure everything is correct, I will type in the version, it will give me the version and it will also say uh, something that is trying it is opening. So over here, we have the Raspberry Pi install, uh, the broker on my Raspberry machine install. So what I'll do is, I'll just open this and then I'll open the MQTT box that we have seen in my previous video and then I'll try to create just a new client. So raspberry pi mqtt broker I'll, you can give whatever name you want to over here i will select the mqtt the host is nothing but my uh, ip address of my raspberry pi and that is 168.1.92 so i will add that now i don't have any authentication in the terms of username and password so i will leave that blank and i will save it so you see it it says that it is giving me a connection error so there is something that we need to do over here to have that enabled so what first there are two ways of doing it first way is to have remote broker access without any authentication so to do that what you need to do is type in sudo nano etc mosquito and open this configuration file once you have this configuration file open you have to type in this allow anonymous true and then listener on this board so this will basically allow all the all the subscribers and publisher to connect with this broker at 1883 what I'll do is I'll save with control O, enter, and then I will exit with control X. We have that. To have that enable, we'll have to restart the broker. And to do that, we will use this command. Press. So now it should connect, which, which says that it is connected, which is a good sign. So now what I'll do is I will just first test I will just try to publish something 
hello from my laptop but before doing that I need to subscribe it over here on the same uh, client ID or same publishing ID right so what I'll do is mosquito underscore subscribe my topic is first test and then I will enter and then I will wait over here and then I will publish so I should be seeing this hello from my laptop which is a good sign which means we have the MQTT broker installed and tested with your Raspberry Pi now people who are happy with this can stop over here and do whatever they want but what if I want to give a password right I don't want anyone to send me bunch of messages when I'm working on some IoT application so what I'll do for that is I will just set a username and a password to do that I will use this command this basically says that um, this will basically create a folder with your username in e etc mosquito directory and as soon as you type and press enter you, it will ask you for the password and you won't be able to see that password because that's something secure so first I will write a password demo tutorial so I have to remember that and then my username will be electro fun and then I enter it is gonna ask me the password I have to repeat the same password demo tutorial it will again ask me oh that's not a good sign so I will type it again well that is that is a difficult password to set wait let me change it and have everything like just tutorial and then the username as electrofund so I hope I have had it right this time okay I have now once you have that you have to go to the same file uh, etc mosquito and then config file so what I was saying that it will make a new folder right so if you want to just verify if it made it or not you can just go into the same directory type ls and you can see it has made a, a electro fund that is nothing but the username that I typed in so I will just okay that was I could have done it there sorry about that and then Control X. Okay, now instead of listen to anyone, I will make this false. The listener same stays the same, and then I will add a new line which basically has the password, which was nothing but tutorial. I will save this the same way, exit it. I will look for the command that restarts my mosquito service it has restarted and you see it's a connection error over here which is very obvious because now we have an authenticate username and password so we will type electrofun and the password is tutorial and then we'll save it and you see it is connected and now we'll again do the same thing to test it out okay not authorized so basically did I miss something over here maybe the command is different when there is an authentication so that is something you can basically see when you go to this link so this is where I got all my commands mm, I can show you that quickly
so this is where I got all my commands you can try it out you can test it out and you can see what works for you um, but for now I think we are good and I hope uh, you are able to follow all the steps over here um, with with no authentication process as well as authentication process so I hope uh, this helps you out on installing MQTT broker on your Raspberry Pi and make some cool projects out of it uh, till the, if you have any questions you can ask me in the comment section below until then have fun uh, subscribe to my channel and enjoy thank you